Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Finally, I am back. I am still kind of sick and getting over it. Not as bad as it was, but the show must go on and I can't go another week without sharing videos with you guys. So today is going to be a massive Sephora haul from the recent Sephora VIB Rouge sale. So I figured I'd share with you guys all the goodies that I got and I haven't had a chance to try a lot of these yet so a lot of it um, I will be doing a follow-up haul in a couple weeks to this haul that way I can share with you guys kind of my thoughts and everything once I've had a chance to try these products so let's go ahead and jump right in because I gotta make this quick to film it to go somewhere right after this and there is a lot to get through so we're just gonna jump right in so the first thing actually was sold out online and I was super disappointed so I ended up going in stores to buy a couple things that were sold out online and this was one of them so I was like, super excited when I saw it. This is the NARS Sarah Moon Mind Game Velvet Lip Glide Set and this has I forget like five or six of the new NARS Velvet Lip Glides and this is what it looks like. Look at those pretty colors for fall and winter. They're all kind of a berry brown um, purpley shades. They're really really pretty. I've only had a chance to try this one right here which is kind of the mauve shade and this one is called Bound I believe. Yes. And and they're very, very interesting. They're a cross between kind of like a lip gloss and maybe a lipstick. Not like a liquid lipstick you would expect. So they're definitely interesting and I have to see if I can get used to this formula and the colors and things like that. So I'm super excited. I actually got my hands on this though because it was sold out online and I was really sad. I was like, oh man, I'm not going to get that. And it looked like a really good set if you want to try them and get multiple colors. It was a really good value. So I was super excited about that. Next, I got this because it's a purple shade. It's what I have on my lips right now and I could not pass this up because one, I love the Bite Beauty and Mousse Bouche lipstick formula. It's amazing. And this one is called Movember. So I believe it's only going to be on sale during the month of November, but it's just a typical Bite Beauty lipstick, but it's this really pretty kind of purpley mauve shade. I love it. It's definitely a lot more purple than you would expect, but I think it's really pretty and really wearable. So comfortable. I love the formula, so I could not pass up this really unique color, especially because it was limited edition. Another item I picked up because it was limited edition to Sephora at the moment. The new Tarte lip paints are not at Sephora. I believe they're at Tarte and eventually at Ulta, if not already. So Sephora does not have them yet, so I was really excited and surprised when they ended up coming out with a limited edition shade exclusive to Sephora. So this is the shade Bestie, and I have been wearing this. The new formula is really comfortable. A tad drying, um, not sure if it's because of my lips and the condition of them yet, or if it's the formula, but I do like it. Super lightweight. And this is just a really kind of nice nudie brown shade. I really like it. It's a really wearable nude. Really, really pretty. So I could not pass that up either when I saw that. I was like, oh, I have to have this shade too. So excited about that. I picked up a foundation, which I think is not a surprise to you guys because you guys know I'm obsessed with this. I love the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. I love, 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 love it. I just wanted to get a shade a couple shades lighter now that um, summer is gone. I had gotten it during the summer, so I had my tan shade. So now I wanted to get a more um, light shade, and I got the shade Vanilla. I wanted the shade above it that was a neutral undertone, but it was out online and it was out in store, so I went ahead with Vanilla, which has a cool undertone. And this one, I believe, is a light shade. Um, the one I had before was medium or light medium, I can't remember. So, let's see, I know I got another foundation stick. I got the Lancome Tint Adole, I'm totally gonna butcher that, um, Tint Adole Ultra Makeup Stick. I'm sure I totally said that wrong. I'll have to look up the phonetics later, I just don't have time. But this is the All Day Color Wear and Comfort Portable Perfection Soft Matte Finish for all skin types. I have worn this a couple times, this is one of the few products. I have got to try it and I love it. One of my subscribers said she picked it up recently and loved it so I was like okay I have to try it and it's amazing. I have combo oily skin and it is perfect for me. It's got really nice medium, um, a little bit of a buildable coverage. Really really nice and I picked up the shade, let's see, 210 which is buff which is again a light shade with a neutral undertone so I tend to like those neutral undertones picked up another foundation because I was just really excited to try out some new foundations. Again, this was a recommendation from one of my subscribers. This is Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo Medium Coverage Foundation. And so this is supposed to be really good for acne prone skin or combo skin is what my subscriber said and what I've read from the review. So it just looks like this. Just a typical one fluid ounce um, 
foundation and so I have worn this once and I did really like it that day so we shall see I'm super excited to keep trying that out let's see yeah I got a lot of foundations <laughs> that's like three that's the most I think I've ever bought at one time a primer that I bought that I was so excited about that I have been like lusting over this and wanting it ever since Casey Holmes started talking about it and raving about it because we have very similar skin types so I was like you love it I'm probably gonna love it. So this is the Kane and Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. And I'm an idiot though, and there's like a little stopper inside so that it squirts around the stopper. I thought it was a stopper and I totally like dug in there with tweezers and yanked it out. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to do that because now it does not close all the way. So I'm an idiot. <laughs> Um, I did try it one day and I really liked it, so I think this is going to be really promising in a winter. I'll probably just have to tape it closed out because I totally ruined it, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Even though it was expensive. God, Amy, why did you have to do that? Okay, so another lip product I got that was limited edition for the holidays. This is the Too Faced Matte Limited Edition Peppermint Mocha Scented. And I haven't even had a chance to try this. Like I said, a lot of this I didn't get to try because I was sick. Well, I'm still sick, but I was sick. And I wasn't even excited about my Sephora box. It didn't even really open anything. So I was like, man, that's when you know you're sick, when you're not even playing with your goodies when they arrive. So I haven't even tried this yet. It's supposed to be kind of a pinky red shade. I think it's gonna lean a little bit more pink. It's like fuchsia, but with a little bit of red undertone. So this looked really pretty. Oh, it does smell good. It smells like cocoa powder. Mmm, that smells good. It smells like the hot chocolate packets you get, um, what is the brand, like Swiss chocolate or something, whatever that blue box of hot chocolate is with the powdered hot chocolate. That's what it smells like with a little bit of peppermint. That's a really pretty shade. So I'm super excited about that. I love the formula of most of these. So I'm hoping this is one of the good formulas. There are a couple of duds out there. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I did a review on like a good amount of the shades in that collection. Some more hits, some more misses. So hopefully this is a hit. Next. These are the Shiseido Facial Cotton. These are supposed to help deliver moisture with a luxurious, gentle touch. So these are basically just big, giant kind of cotton pads or facial cottons that you can use pretty much for anything or with anything. So people have been raving about these a ton. I forget. You get a lot of them in here. 165 sheets. They're like $10, so it's kind of expensive compared to the packets you can get at Target and Walmart. But you do get 165 so people have been raving about these and saying they love them and that they're totally worth the price. So I'm excited to try that out. I'm pretty sure I'm excited about everything. That's my favorite word when I do hauls. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> um, next is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. This is new over the last couple of weeks at Sephora. One of my subscribers, when I talked about it in my wish list, said she loved it. So I'm excited to try this. I'm excited. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I picked up the shade light or the shade number one. I was in between which one I wanted to go one or two, but I ended up going with one. I have tried this. It's pretty. The only thing I don't know is if I got a dud. I feel like I cannot pick up any product like hardly at all when I use a brush and I really have to like dig my fing finger in there to even feel like I'm picking up any product so let me know if anyone has ever tried this before if you guys you know have no problem with it and it's powdery and it's easy to pick up or if it's super hard pressed into the pan as well maybe I just got a dud but I just feel like when I try to apply it to my face with a brush I'm not picking up like any product if that makes sense so it just feels like I'm not using it so I can't tell if I just got a dud so someone let me know if you have tried it next this was not something I was planning on getting but I was in the long comb section because I was getting that foundation stick. Sorry if I sound nasally. I feel like I feel like I'm sounding nasally. <laughs> so hopefully it's not coming off too bad on camera, but this was in that section that I was not planning on getting, but it looks so cute. Like, seriously, look how cute that is. I could not pass this up. The packaging itself got me and I was like, why do you have to do this to me? This is the Lancome Paris and Rose little duo. This is the lip duo exclusive to Sephora and it includes a juicy shaker of full size, which I love these juicy shakers. I love them so much. And it's in the shade Piece of Cake, so I'm hoping it smells kind of like cake too. And it's just a really pretty nude shade. And then you get a travel size lip liner with a brush as well. So it's just a perfect little cute duo set in kind of a nudie brown shade. Really 
happy about that. I'm not going to say excited, even though I am. I'm really happy that I saw this and that I get to try it out because I love these. These little things go with me everywhere. I feel like these are becoming my new chapsticks and I just have them in my purse, in my backpack, in my car. I have them everywhere. I love these. So next, I have two false eyelash sets and you guys suggested getting the, uh, I think the eye extravaganza set, but I ended up not finding other stuff in there that I really wanted or I had tried and didn't like or I had tried and love it and I already have a full size. So I didn't want to get that after all because it does have a full size set in there. So if you want to try a bunch of things that is a really good value, it just wasn't what I needed. So I wanted to try some Huda Beauty eyelashes because people rave about these. First one is the Samantha lashes which are the number seven. These I think were described as like medium volume and then a little bit more of like everyday or subdued kind of like light or like a lighter version I think like a softer more natural I think that's how they describe it natural these are the Claudia at number six so I'm excited to try these people rave about these and I can be pretty picky about my eyelashes so I have really high hopes for these going along with that this was so cute on Sephora I saw it and I was like oh, this is adorable I'm totally getting it just because of the packaging and how cute it is and just because I can't resist gold packaging. So this is the House of Lashes Holiday Gem Set. And you get one pair of lashes. You get the little um, champagne gold precious gem lash case and two lash adhesives in clear and black. So I was super excited to try this. This is what it looks like. I guess not try it, but get it. Look how adorable this little lash like kit is like you can put your eyelashes right here I think it holds three of them or you can stack them and then this comes up as well you could store more in here so this is just really nice for storage or for traveling and I just thought it's so cute and then you do get um, a full set of eyelashes with it as well from House of Lashes and then you get the two lash adhesives that can fit in here as well so I just thought it was really cute for the holidays it's really cute as a gift it's just super duper cute so I was really excited about this one let's see this guy took up a huge amount of space in my box this is the Sun and Park Beauty Water this is a toner that is supposed to be amazing that it has like super good reviews online that people loved it for cleansing moisturizing toning just like an all-purpose kind of beauty water so I was really excited about this it's huge like let's go ahead and open it up it's huge this box is ginormous so here's what it looks like it is plastic which is good otherwise I totally would break this and knock this over but this is what it looks like you get a total of let's see 340 milliliters so I'm excited to try that out and to see how this works again really great review so I'm excited to see if it lives up to expectations let's see I think a couple more items I got a mask from the brand Sephora. This is the Creamy Night Mask Moisturizing and Plumping. This had really good reviews and one other Sephora brand type of mask had a really good review as well and they're definitely a little bit more affordable. I want to say this was $20 or under $20 and it had amazing reviews. So it says this Creamy Night Mask is enriched with hyaluronic acid offering the skin a variable overnight moisture fest. So this is just supposed to be a really, really good overnight mask. Something you can leave on. I'm happy I finally picked this up. This had been on my loves list for a long time. So I think this is the last item. I needed a new beauty blender. I finally threw some of mine away that were just getting really crusty and old and just needed to go. So I had been wanting to try the black one just because it's not going to show as much dirt and gunk and look as bad sitting on the vanity. And for whatever reason, everyone's saying that the black one is so much better than the pink one. So I'm really excited that I picked this up finally. And I think that is it. I think that is everything I picked up in stores and online from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. Really excited. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Really excited about all these items. These were some items that had been sitting on my loves list forever and I could not wait to get all these items with 20% off. And of course, per usual, when I went in stores, there was little things here and there, these little gems that I found that I needed, even though I didn't think I needed them. So super cute little sets and stuff that I found in stores that are perfect for the holidays and just really cute collector set. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up from the Sephora sale. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Definitely let me know down below if you have got to try any of these items. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear it, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!